Here's the finds cleaned up to the best I could get them clean. This one here was actually found at a different dump. Uh, it was a dump that I've never seen before. I just happened to walk upon it. Looks like a surface dump, so I don't know if it's worth digging or not, but I'll look around at it some more sometime. So got that lid and four more lids to throw in my jars. And then I got this little white crown cap here. They're pretty common, but I always bring them. There's a sounders extract cleaned up. Whatever this polishes. Milk glass thing. Uh, blown Listerine. Salt shaker. And this one was kind of cool. And I got these Crocs here. And this one was really nice. First quart whiskey flask I've dug. That's embossed. Might have been the first one I've dug, period. I think uh, one quart I did have was bought in a lot. And here's that White House vinegar. I'm pretty sure this is a larger size than the others I've found in the past. And there's that Unita brewing. And I got two of these Hubners. They're both different. One has the one line of embossing. The other has two. But they're so common that it doesn't really make a difference, I don't think. Then here's the sodas. Now I did dig one of these last time, but this one's actually blown. They got this lime cola. It's a wheeling bottle, but the embossing is extremely weak. And of course, while I was cleaning it, it happened to crack on me. You can see it right there. That's too bad. But it's an early machine made soda and that's what those sodas do from that time period. They were made with that crappy brittle glass. And my last one. It's this nice early blown soda or Javich Balling Works from Bel Air, Ohio. Yeah, this has to be 1905 to 1910. It's got a nice aqua color to it. But that is it. Later. Whoa, dude, ring that snake. All right, guys, here's the finds from today's dig. Uh, sorry I didn't get to film much. I was with a friend, so I was talking to him, and that kind of distracted me. And then it was getting dark by the time I was actually fine and stuff so I got this lid and got this lid and then got another one of these Hubner beers from Toledo then I got this pure milk from Steubenville then I got this here, and I thought it was a whiskey at first, but I guess it's a barber bottle. Has nice bold embossing, and I've never dug one before, so I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, that is it. What's up, guys? Back at the Crunchy Dump. Uh, as you can see, I got a hole already started, so 
I'm going to jump back in there and finish her off and see if I can find something good. I was getting into a layer last time, but the layer was really watery, so I'm not looking forward to that. All right, I'll go ahead and get started, and if I find anything, I'll let you know. All right, guys, first find of the day is what I expected it would be. Jar lid. So I could throw that on one of my fruit jars. Alright guys, I got something down here I think. Some type of crown top. Alright. And that's what I knew it would be. A Hoogner from Toledo. The only crown top beer that's machine made in here. Alright, just flip this one out right there. So uh, I was digging right beside the whole time. Anyway, it's champagne style, so that means it's not a Hoogner, at least. The Beaumont Brewing, Martin's Ferry, Ohio. Huh. That one's actually embossed on the shoulder instead. It seems like my other one was slug plated. That's machine, I think. Yeah, it's machine, so maybe the machine ones were embossed on the shoulder while the older ones were embossed in the center. I just happened to look down and looky there. Poison. It's just the one sided one. All right. All right, guys, this one could be whole, but I think it's one of them wine coolest from wheeling. And these are made with that crappy brittle glass, so. I think I'm just going to set it down somewhere without handling it too much. So let's see first. Alright, it's whole. So it's going to go, I guess, over here. What the heck? Okay. That was broken. But, yep. I hope this one stays good. Looks like sewage crap here, so... I don't know, it doesn't seem to be any bottles on it. Alright guys, I got something amber here. Hopefully it's a beer, not just some chemist bottle, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a beer. Alright, which one is it though? I don't really want to handle it where it's cracking it from the heat. I know it's embossed. Something from Bel Air, Ohio. Oh, it's a Bel Air brewing from Bel Air, Ohio. Champagne. Alright, I don't know how common that one is. Probably common since it's machine and uh, crown top. Well, it might have been blown. I don't know. I'll find out. It's really hard to get that mud off because the wet mud just sticks to your fingers in the bottle while if you try to brush off dry mud it actually comes off. And look at all this nasty mud. But it seems like the bottles are all coming out of it so I guess I'll be digging the wet muddy layer. All the stuff up here is already dug. Okay guys I got beer up here. With it being up this high, it might not be cool, so we'll find out. Okay, let's see here. Yep, just as I suspected. Alright guys, as you can see, there's a jug back there and a square bottle. So, what might have a nose hole if the list doesn't take them. Try to uncover them. I'm gonna have to probably cave this stuff in to get to them though. That's too bad because I've never seen an embossed pickle jar like that before. Had a name on it.
I guess the animals are entertained. But yeah, whoever was digging this dump first, they had it so good. They probably got ten bucket fulls of bottles in one day. <clears throat> yeah, found me a new dump. I was kind of typical, not sure exactly where it was. But there's definitely a dump here for sure. Most of these look really modern. More modern than I want. But down there, I actually see a freaking milk that looks like it might be, uh, well, not boss, but painted. <sighs> Let's see what this one is. Something dairy farm. I think it's camera zoomed in. Okay, now it's not. Oh, 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 has a lady embossed on it. Oh, I might try to wash Ace. It's got to be the Ace shoe polish. Oh, and it is, too. Heck, yeah. It even has a cork top on it. Not that it means it's any older, really, but still... Now this stuff here looks like it's from the teens, maybe a little bit earlier for the croc. This base here. Okay, that's an early machine made base there, so around 19, 15 to 19, 18. But check this little area here and there isn't really no good light here besides a bunch of smashed up stuff so I'm gonna keep walking and hope I can find a good dump that isn't surrounded by no trespassing signs <laughs> actually some are gansers those domestic ducks. Found another drainage ditch that was exposing old glass. I got druggists here, but it's probably going to be some big plain smoke on that. Very common. that one for someone else. Hey, what's up, guys? I decided to create my own page to post my dig finds on because I don't have a large enough base to where I can do the auction thing like Crick Diggers, so I figure I'll just create my own page. It is on Facebook and not YouTube, but I put up different categories of bottles, or sodas, beers, whiskeys, meds, chemists, miscellaneous bottles, and some other miscellaneous non-bottle items that you find digging for bottles. I do have my prices listed for these under the photos, so I'll save everyone time from asking prices and me writing back to tell them what it is and all that. Also put a lot more details in the pinned post. So go check that out if you end up checking the page out. At the time, I had photographed every different bottle that I had. And posted it into its select category. And I was planning on doing the same thing. As in adding more sodas to the soda category as I dug them. And same with whiskeys, meds, and others. But the bottles started piling up because I was getting a few of each category. Because I store my bottles on my top shelf and I was running out of room. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to post every bottle I find as I dig it. And I'm going to try to have the prices listed. So. Yeah, I guess that's all. I'd like to say my prices are fair. I usually see them more expensive in antique malls. And as for online, it varies. 
Some of them you can find cheaper online, but the thing is, since I have so many different bottles listed, if you were to buy, let's say, a box of multiple medicine bottles off me, you'd still be saving money buying off me instead of some other guy because you'd have to buy off that seller usually plus another seller because of that you'd be paying shipping costs from both sellers and shipping costs aren't cheap these days for most of my bottles it costs me eight and up to ship even the small ones I'm also willing to do some deals for those who are willing to buy multiple bottles I don't mind coming down some on price but I could do an even better deal for those who are willing to come pick them up in person where I don't have to deal with shipping at all. So that'd be a really great deal because not only would you be getting a deal off me, but you'd be saving a crap load of money from not paying on these expensive shipping costs. 